Skateboarding is an Olympic sport now, okay? And we're not allowed to do it anywhere. Get a lead. Alright. Let's go now. Let's go. I'm not playing. All the best places to skate you get kicked out of. Everybody says that their city is the worst and they just wish they could go to some other city where nobody gets kicked out. Well, guess what? They get kicked out of that city too. It is the worst. I've been chased down streets. It's a totally illegal thing to do to practice this art form. We need legal spaces to go. And if it was like, we need spaces where we're encouraged to be there. And these spaces need to be better than what's outside these spaces. Because if you build a skate park and you think, oh, there, and then you walk outside and the outside facility is dramatically better, that's not designed for skateboarding at all, good luck trying to get people to stay in the skate park. So good skate parks are necessary. My favorite thing about the skate park is, well, there's a lot of people skating and I feel like it's a great place to make friends and have fun. <laughs> I will tell a city that's thinking about, you know, getting a skate park because, you know, I think it's very good for kids and just people to play around here and, you know, I just think it's a good way to get them outside, exercise and, well, and just skate and have fun. Awesome. And skateboarding has definitely taught me, I mean, like, it taught me to never give up and just keep going and have fun. Any skate park I go to, you know, I get some good memories. <laughs> Skate parks, I love the fact that each skate park is different in its own way with figuring out flow and the different heights and everything. Like I grew up skating skate parks, so I just fell in love with the fact that when you get to a new park, you have to just drop in and just kind of go and figure it all out on your own. So I love that. <laughs> I think that skate parks are really good for the community to bring everybody together and kind of share the love of it. Uh, skate park in my hometown, Hawaii Kai, it's small, but it's got like all around from four to six feet and that's pretty much where I made all my friends in Hawaii. I mean, I didn't have a lot of friends growing up, like school friends, but I just go to the skate park and feel at home. I mean, me personally, I've always had a, obviously skateboarding's been my safe place. And anytime I had things going on, this was really the only place that I'd be able to like be me officially. So being able to have a skate park, even just nearby 20, 30 minutes is, such a game changer because everyone will be able to be connected, have a place to be safe and not have to worry about their outside lives and just be able to have some nice time. The community that you build and the family I've built, I wasn't, wasn't one of the blessed ones to have a good family just given to me so I kind of got to create one with skating and that's been a game changer for me. Oh, skate parks are so important for the community. It's just because it's something positive that, that kids can do growing up. I mean, and, and that's the biggest thing, right, is that skateboarding teaches you persistence. It teaches you confidence. It gives you confidence. It teaches you so many things, so many life lessons as a kid. And it's so important for communities that have skate parks like this. But lastly, what's your favorite thing about skateboarding? My favorite thing about skateboarding, man, I think the creativity part of it. The fact that I can get on a skateboard and do whatever I want. And it's not even about skill wise. Even if I even if I wasn't even if I wasn't that good at skateboarding, I would still enjoy it. And it's just because it's so creative and so fun. It's just a creative outlet to get away from everything and, and the freedom of it is just you know it's unparalleled to anything. Fantastic. Do we do we have permission to use this on our YouTube? Yeah, fully, yeah, yeah. Yep. Kids parks are super valuable because everybody like needs to get a party just like this in Brazil. We just have bands, you know, like this level. And it's super good because you can see like a lot of Kids coming from these parts, you know, and actually going to an Olympics like in the future. So uh, it's super sick and just want to, I'm so grateful to be part of this. Well, I think it's really, really, really important to put parts like that in downtown so people actually see skateboarding and witness skateboarding. Because um, where I'm from in Austria, the parks, especially in the countryside, are always next to the cemetery. And I mean, I get it, skateboarding is style, blah, 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 but kind of like that image that that like transpires is like, oh yeah, we want you out and like far away from everything. Whereas I think it's really awesome that they like put it in the middle. So it's like, all right, yeah, skateboarding is a part of our culture, it's a part of our society and we acknowledge that and we're happy about it. And also too, I think that's gonna show that not all skateboarders just smoke pot and whatever. It's like, no, we're normal people. We're just having fun and skateboarding is for everybody. And I think it's awesome. I think the main thing that everybody can learn from skateboarding is that 
you have to try hard, you're gonna fall, but you have to get up and do it. And it's it's really rewarding. Like it, hard work pays off. It's just just don't give up. Nothing is gonna come to you easily, but that's okay. That's life. And if you work hard for it, you're gonna appreciate it more. And I think that's just goes for skateboarding as well as for pretty much anything else in life. I mean, skate parks for community, they just bring everybody together, you know, like young, old, even people who don't skate. Like, you know, like people will walk around here and be like, wow, this is sick, let's check out skateboarding. And they'll get to see skateboarding maybe for the first time or, you know, they have a whole different idea now because it actually looks amazing, like in the middle of the city, you know. There's no set rules, you know, you can just, whatever your idea of it is, like you just do it, you know. Yeah, yeah I've definitely learned a lot from skateboarding, like, trying stuff you know you're like you're not always gonna do stuff like first try or like sometimes it takes a while it could take a year and or even like you'll learn something but it's not the way you had it in mind and not the way you want to do it and then you're gonna try to like get to that like feeling that you want to have with it you know i don't know you you push it to the limit every day you are today you are better than yesterday and that's what is so good and then all the homies and all the fun you have in your travels and all what skateboarding gives you is it's amazing, it's a perfect life, God life. Everything what you learn in skateboarding, you can put it in real life and it will work perfect. Yeah, buddy, skateboarding is everything. You can skate a rock, but skate parks is so good because all the people from the city or from the village where that escape uh, is, a lot of people share moments there and everybody meet there. And sometimes you don't need to call any anybody for for meet with friends in the bar, you know. So it's so good to have escape bars. I think it's like valuable and essential to communities, like meeting people. Um, from different environments and different backgrounds is so important like making friends um, having a space where you can do an activity like alone you can come as like an outsider or an individual and um, kind of have a space that that can kind of belong to you in a way you know it's like public but it's a space where you can feel kind of like like to your space a bit you know um, you know if people struggle to make friends and fit in the societies that's in their lives currently like it's a great space to find like-minded people um, which is really important because you know it can be quite hard in some certain circumstances to find like-minded people and that makes you feel like not alone and not like a freak and that does wonders for your like overall well-being and your kind of you know how you see yourself and how you value yourself so it's I can't talk enough about how important it is, you know, for me, if there wasn't a local little spot to skate, uh, I wouldn't be here today because without that skate park in my community, like, I wouldn't have been introduced to it, you know, so I think it's, and without, you know, a, a park, skate park, we wouldn't have had contests, I wouldn't have been able to travel for skateboarding, I wouldn't be able to be here, so it's, to me, it's like the most... <laughs> To me it's the most it's the most important thing and it doesn't have to be the biggest best it just needs to be a place where people can go like every time a skater come in the city like all the kids come in and that's great like skateboarding teaches me to be like nice to everybody and respectful the thing is in spain we have really bad skaters we need the good ones so i like Transitions, usually, I, because you can skate street on the street. But I like when they try to mix a lot of different things in the same place. Usually more transitions, full coping. I love the sound like clack, clack, clack. I love that one. I think it's good for community because it's an individual sport right now. So people can go alone to skate. If they feel stressed or happy or sad, you can do it and then everything is fine. And then uh, you learn like a lot of things things to skateboarding how to build a skateboard or mini ramp how to edit photos clips like it's not only skating and then you have to learn now we are learning how to do some exercise so i think the culture of skateboarding can teach a lot of things to the world like the whole keep kids off the streets movement i think it's a very um 
it kind of I guess it helps that you know it does keep kids off the street and people say like oh no but that's just a good place for kids to go and smoke weed but no it actually like gives them something to do and yeah my favorite thing about skateboarding is like you can have fun doing a sport with your friends and it's the best thing like spend time doing what what you love and with your friends i like that like you can skate in, in a skateboard yeah sometimes some people get angry because you are skating in, in the street or things like that but I think that it's gonna change with the with the time because people will will see the the skate as a sport and not as as a as a crime as a bad thing. Uh, a skateboard is a is a place where uh, a lot of people can can go and it's an union for for I don't know if the, if the word is union. Union. Ah, uh, union. union. Yeah, yeah. It's an union for for all the kids to, to do a sport that is a. a a very healthy thing and to have fun. I think it's awesome the place where you can like meet new people, make friends, get better, like learn your tricks and just have fun. It's a place where you have fun. So if we have more skate parks, you're gonna have more places to have fun. That's it. <laughs> the feeling I have when I'm skating and also all the people that are involved and the community, everybody cheer for each other. That's awesome about skateboarding. I love the community too. Fantastic. Has skateboarding taught you anything about life? Yeah, for sure. To like when you fell, you need to get back up and try again until you make it. That skateboard taught me that really, like really well. I think they're really, really valuable. Um, if I didn't have skate parks, I don't know what I'd be doing. I know a lot of kids that grew up in not good situations and they had that skate park as an outlet to go mess around or bike or whatever they whatever it was you know rollerblade scooter skate uh we're all friends there and we all support each other so you know it kind of brings the community together and, you know that's where hey, you'll see you me are. that's where you'll see me winning medals man skate park is amazing i think it's um bringing bringing skateboarding especially the park kind of style to a new level because they really stepped it up it's it's a lot bigger than the usual parks we're used to it's a lot faster and yeah it gives you so much possibility and you know to be here in tokyo they're leaving the park for the people here for for some years i think it's 10 years and i think that's one of the most beautiful things because a skate park can change so much lives it can change a community it can even change society you know so you know for more parks like this for more parks around the world and more skateboarding first of all congratulations how do you feel um, it's an absolute honor. I can't believe it. You know, like, been working my ass off, and I just think skate parks need to go everywhere. Like, they need some in the Gold Coast for sure, and bring them there, and maybe they'll have enough money to build another skate park there. But uh, we need them. We need them. Just it will bring more people to skating, and I think like I hope this is like what my biggest point of perspective was for this contest was to like sh skateboarding should be shown around the world, so po skate parks pop up everywhere in the world, and that's the, like the biggest thing that I have to say, honestly. Is and we need some parks, more big parks in the Gold Coast. As skateboarders, we've always, always been drawn to cool architecture and where there's a nice bank or a handrail that's exactly the, the, the right height. But um, with, with just a little bit of knowledge and, um, and programming of the, of the public space, I mean, uh, there's a lot you can do and, and where you can transform form regular, um, you know, plazas and squares into um, you know, more active and living and breathing uh, spaces um, that might not be a sort of a, a dead space out of, uh, you know, after office hours, for example, you know, and uh, to where you're getting, uh, you know, some double use out, out of your, your public spaces, you know, so uh, maybe you have the, the, the skateboarders and the more cultural aspects occupying a space, uh, you know, during the evenings and in the day, you might have, uh, you know, like your more business people running around or, or whatever, and, and you know, like more, more sort of a workspace. So, so um, just creating um, public spaces that, that cater to to um, to day to day activity, I think, is uh, really something that um, you know all architects should be looking at um, in the future. For once, I think having an active space uh, creates a sense of um, security, and um, you know when. When there's people around, you feel safe. Um, uh, 
uh, maybe people have to get used to the idea that skateboarders aren't hoodlums that are out to rob you or whatever. They're, they may look different and uh, you know, have, have a different approach to life, but really they're, they're probably some of the most mellow and friendly people you'll come across. You know, they, they just want to skateboard. And, um, you know, so I think, um, yeah, I mean, adding, adding to space, definitely, definitely a, a sense of uh, um, security, but also just um, bringing, bringing a space to life, you know, like giving you something to look at and, um, you know, also, you know, giving, giving the people somewhere where they can be active, you know. Um, we, we spend a lot of time behind our computers and, um, you know, TVs and screens and whatnot. It's so that it's important for people to get out and, um, and be active. And if you're living in the city and um, all you have is cars and people walking around all around you, you you're not really um, uh, going to have an easy time being exposed to, to some activities. So, so um, you know, uh, kind of programming and, uh, and, and uh, interacting these, these, uh, these spaces that, that are more active. Um, definitely will help uh, with a more active lifestyle. Everyone is so different and unique and there are no rules and everyone has their own style but I also love how supportive everyone is and you can kind of find your own little groups within skateboarding and your friendship groups and you can just like try whatever you want and yeah it's so fun. I love that every skate park is so different and you know when you get to a new skate park there's always new obstacles and things to try and make like a lot of the time stuff that you've never seen before and it's just like fun to have a session like go down with your friends like whether you're like having food or a barbecue or something and you can just all go down hang out try new stuff everyone can pick an obstacle and like try things it's like yeah it's super fun <laughs> perfect transition and stuff like that i think skate parks are definitely valuable for the community like i think there's definitely a lot of communities too that it helps a lot um and it kind of brings kids together and it gives a lot of kids and people something sometimes that they didn't know they needed and like an outlet it definitely was an outlet for me you could kind of escape the world and have something really awesome to try and i think it would definitely help a lot of kids and has helped a lot of kids before. i think i grew up at bondi skate park bondi bowl and i'd like when i was younger i'd like always just have these sessions with these older bowl skater guys and they'd always help me out and I think just like lots of memories of like barbecues down at the skate park was really fun just like you can kind of bring your family and friends down bring your dog have a barbecue have a skate and then also like meet going to America and meeting all of some of my best friends for the first time and around the world and just like I think uh, always making a new memory at a different skate park. Oh, skate parks do a lot for the communities and get a lot of people into skateboarding and uh, it's just amazing that you guys did that here, in middle of nowhere. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about skateboarding? My favorite thing about skateboarding is skating with friends, having fun and traveling. Fantastic. Yeah, definitely. So valuable. Like, especially in a town like this. I mean, I don't know a lot about Des Moines, but I could imagine that a lot of kids growing up here, like, they probably don't have too many things to do so they're probably just gonna end up doing whatever they're around to do and if there's no, nothing to do then they might start doing some bullshit you know like getting in trouble and you know like just trying to i don't know just doing whatever because they're bored and if they have a sick skate park like this they're probably going to start skating you know and and maybe not even start skating, but like hanging out at the skate park and like meeting new friends and getting forming friendships with people that love to skateboard and maybe do other things like ride in lines or whatever, like just do physical exercise. And that's gonna probably be like a step in the right direction in their life, you know? Like hanging out with good people. Yeah. And, uh, I do believe that skate parks are valuable to a community. It helps kids get out of trouble. It allows for you to go to a place and be free and happy, but it also creates a family within the community of skaters. And I feel like for those who feel alone, that's very important. I'd be a totally different person if I didn't skateboard. It's a part of my identity at this point. Like it's foreign to like think of what I would do outside of that and it's just fun to do and it gets you outside.